All right. We get to negotiate with a terrorist, basically, even though he's not exactly a terrorist. Um, it seems like either thing we do will be bad. We can obey Saito. That doesn't stop him from, you know, obviously swapping our bodies. And we'll have like a, you know, a broken arm and also a broken leg, I think. And then there's not, not even a guarantee that he'll tell us. You know, he'll probably just kill us after we finish swapping our bodies and everything. At the very least, we get to have boobies when we die. You know, at least there's that. You know, always be optimistic. Um, I can say we don't do it. That probably will just, you know, Hitomi will just probably explode and then die as well. Saito will probably like will laugh at us going, ha ha ha, your girlfriend is dead. What are you going to live for now? And then... I don't know. You know, his plan is foiled, but then... Obviously, if we submit to his demands, it's kind of like we're just doing whatever he wants anyway, so I don't know. Hmm. I guess, I don't know. Me the way probably is... bad. But, uh, how about we just say no? Daga. Kotowaru. やれやれ。弱ってな。彼女がどうなってもいいの。だが断る。ねえ。この状況ちゃんと把握してる。彼女の体には爆弾が巻きつけられてるんだよ。I I won't do it. そんなに見たいんだ。彼女の肉片が飛び散るところ。No。僕が場所を教えなければ、彼女は確実に分かってるよね。That's exactly why I won't do it. Either way, she's going to die. It doesn't matter. I didn't agree, no matter how many times he demanded it of me. I refused again and again. Well, there she goes. And when I saw it, I understood. Boss's body rolled into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think anymore. Anything. Nothing. I closed my eyes and ran my palm across my face. I could rate I could taste blood. Well there you go, that's a bad end. I don't know why that happened though. Hmm. I mean obviously we, you know, we kinda gave up in the sense of like, oh no, you know, the person the only person I ever cared about is dead, for one, as uh number eighty nine. But then, blood. There's something blood across her face. What's that? What does that mean? I don't know what that meant exactly. Maybe if we actually chose the other option, maybe we'll know. Let's do it again, I guess. I'm like, what happened exactly? You know, apparently, bo boss's body rolled onto the floor for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, skip. Oh, damn, I have to watch all of this. No, I can skip this. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Skip, 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 skip. Skip everything. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes you just... Teleports into that pose, I guess. Uh, skip, come on! I've already seen all of this. It's uh, too bad it didn't give us a checkpoint right after... You know... The bomb situation. Not to sit through all this again. It's not too bad since we, at least we can skip it, but. And everything. Oh, yeah. Again, I wonder what happened though. Like, did. Did our bodies swap anyway, you know? Even though we didn't do the Somnium? Or did Saito attack us? Apparently, Boss's body was rolled up in the corner? Why did that happen? You would think Saito wouldn't, you know, want to just roll up in the corner and die. Like it said, we died? I don't know, I don't get it. 
Unless maybe we killed him, you know? Maybe we didn't see it, but like, maybe Date reverted back to his old ways. And then like, just took out his gun and shot Saito, you know? That's probably what happened, even though Hitomi's dead, I guess. We we're like, well, you know, it's back to our old ways. We don't, we feel nothing. We just kill criminals just because we can, I guess. But again, you know, it's funny, but I don't know. You see sometimes in media, it's always a cop, right? The cop that's always like, oh, I'm a loose cannon. I'll, I'll kill the criminals instead of going through the justice system and everything. Which is like understandable, you know, sometimes bureaucracy does get in the way, especially if the criminal is like, I don't know, like a rich politician or whatever. But often the case though, in real life as well, the opposite also happens, you know? A lot of times the justice system also tends to make uh, culprits uh, like a false accusation, right? Like false confessions in particular. Like the police always, a lot of the time, always chooses a suspect before they even get all the evidence, you know? Unlike the, the ones you always see in stories and movies and whatnot, um, usually in real life, the way it works in the police force is that, you know, as I've learned, you know, maybe I'm not entirely, it's not always, I'm not entirely sure because I'm, it's not like I've done the research myself, but from what I've read anyway, um, of how police work is often done, is that they find the culprit first and then find the evidence later. So oftentimes, the police is a little bit too hasty, you know, they always pin the, the suspect on someone else, and often, not always, but uh, sometimes they're wrong, right? So then what do you do then? You just... You, you kill them, you're like a type of a loose cannon cop, and then, but then you kill the wrong person, the real per the real culprit gets away. Is that really justice? Anyway, enough ranting about the police system, I'll do it! Well... Time to dive into his brain again, I guess. We have no choice, we have to. Though I wonder... Well... I mean, for one, Pewter is around. Doesn't Pewter help... Help us real quick? Or not? Oh, no. Oh, we just swapped, never mind. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
My eyesight was hazy, a heap of broken images. Sweat was building on my palms, palms sweaty, mom spaghetti. It felt like my throat was closing up and I was struggling for breath. In my ears, the rushing blood in my heartbeat was the only sound. Yep, yeah, in this timeline, a lot of people have died. Shoko, Renju, Iris, Oda, Itomi. Boss. The flesh remains, the mind is lost. Well, at least we have boobs. <laughs> at least we have boobs now. Isn't that your dream now? We gotta look on the bright side of life, Date. Now we get to live as, you know, boss has a very attractive body <laughs> anyway and not everyone's dead Mizuki's alive you know she's quite depressed right now um she'll be more depressed once we arrest date or date's body and she's gonna think that date was the one that you know got rested she'll be even more depressed uh but you know she needs us so at the very least we can take care of Mizuki there's someone to live for, at the very least. Pewter is still on our side as well, you know? I was gonna say, you know, maybe we can get along with Pewter. Uh, he's not probably not into women though, because we have a woman's body right now. Anyway. Bleh. The word suddenly echoed in my head. I couldn't remember who or where or why, but I thought that if there really was such a world, the me in that world, I is another. I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness sink into a black abyss. Okay, doesn't matter. We just we just give up. On life, we just give up on life. That's it, bad end. I guess same thing that happens if we uh, refuse. You know, it doesn't matter either way. We just give up. We give up so hard that we just lose consciousness forever. Somehow, I don't know. There you go. I assume this is one ending. And then, when we go back to the flowchart, probably what's gonna happen is that uh, we're gonna use that information somehow. Uh, annihilation route, yep. That's the everyone is dead route. We're gonna use that information somehow to inform us in the other timelines. Still don't know how or why exactly. Well, maybe I do. Because I know who the director of this game is, but, you know. We'll see, I guess. I don't know if they're gonna explain it ever. Maybe never? Maybe they actually don't explain it? Maybe it's just like, uh, you know. Eh, you know, you, you, know, you could just... You do that, you could just... Transfer information through timelines, don't worry about it. Anyway, we go back here, though. We're, we're jumping back and forth the same timelines, as it turns out. Any other timelines that are locked, I wonder? I don't remember. I don't think so, actually. I think th those are the timelines that were locked, actually. All the other timelines, I think, are, are done. As far as I know. This is this one is the Mizuki ending, you know. Got some ramen. This one is the Ota is a spoiled brat, but at least he reconciled with his mother timeline, I guess. Uh, technically, well, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, in this timeline, Iris and Ota survive, but technically Iris is Saito. So, like, that's kind of weird. Or at least... Well, I can't remember actually. I don't remember exactly what happened in this timeline. But I think it's similar though. Actually, Iris is not Saito actually. Iris is Sejima. So again, yeah, Sejima is just an old man living in Iris' body. He gets to live out his very short life because of the brain tumor. But you know, live out his life as a YouTuber a little bit. Because uh, why not? And Saito is still at large. So I don't know what was going to happen there exactly. It's probably going to continue and then... You know, probably something similar happens where everyone dies again, maybe. Um, at the very least, you know. As always, as as if it's predetermined, because I guess Saito would never know how about Aiba. So every time he tries to swap with Date, at least us as Date, I guess, every time he'll always be shocked. So at the, ver at the very least, some people will die in every timeline, but 
at least I like to think that eventually he always gets captured anyway, even if Date doesn't always, you know, have the happiest of endings. At least he has something to live for in the other endings, I imagine. You know, in this ending, however, he just kind of gave up. You know, he's kind of like, ah, I won't stand a while. Yeah, at least, in the, for example, the Mizuki ending. I don't know if, uh, the Saito's still alive in the Mizuki ending. It's hard to put together, actually. But I wonder, if, if Saito's still alive in the Mizuki ending, because this is where, yeah, this is where they attack Sejima. And I assume Sejima was still Saito, right? He was still in Saito's body. He got shot by uh, Date, actually. So yeah, so in this timeline, you know, Saito is defeated. Um, we just didn't know. Actually, we didn't really comprehend that he was defeated. But at the very least, the Cyclops killer was killed, so we just lived the rest of our lives with Mizuki, I guess. Uh, in this ending, though, it's kind of weird because this ending is also pretty sad because yeah, Iris is dead. But it's also the ending where we learn about the prototype machine. Renju is still around and everything, so he's still in. Uh, Saito is still in Renju's body, running around. You know, I don't know if he's doing anything. He didn't kill anyone else. I don't. I don't remember anyway. Hmm. Yeah, he didn't kill anyone else. Uh, number 89, though, did escape in this timeline. So, Rohan in number 89's body, and Renju in, or rather, uh, Saito in Renju's body, still running around doing their thing. <laughs> but, I don't know. Something, maybe something will be accomplished. That one, I don't know. It's maybe in the end, we, we do finally capture him. But Iris is dead, so that's the sad part about that, I guess. At least, at least some of people die though. Only Iris died in this timeline. At least, you know, this one, the purple timeline, I guess. I don't know, anyway. Uh, what are we doing? We're going all the way back here though. So this, this timeline, however, the magenta timeline, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Going back here, this is when we got ambushed by number 89, which is, as it turns out, our old body, you know? Let's, I guess, go back there. It seems like, yeah, I, I felt like there were more locks for some reason, but I guess this is it. This is like the last one. I don't know. It seems like maybe we're near the end of the game. Because this is like the happy ending timeline where the least amount of people died. Shoko, I guess, Shoko and Renju are both spiritually dead, I guess. But uh, it's the least amount of victims, you know, at the very least. So we come back here. That's Renju's body, which is what I think Ro. Well, he swapped with Rohan, probably. So Rohan's dead, and now Saito is in Date's body right now. We were knocked out initially by Saito, and now we're here. We're kind of stuck here, I guess. Yeah, they tie. They, they, he he probably tied us to the machine now, and you know he's probably gonna try to swap with us. That's the end goal for him. Yes, again. And probably number 89 right now, as us, as manipulated Hitomi, you know, into capturing us. And also, he probably also, you know, put some bombs on her as well, most likely. And it's Renju. Or at least Renju's body, which is Rohan, I guess. Or Rohan, is it Rohan? Yeah, it's Rohan. Well, right now it's Rohan. Well, Rohan's dead, I guess. But like, before Renju died, he probably swapped with, uh... Saito, anyway. だが、幸いなことに通信機能だけは生きている。そこで本庁やアビスの本部に応援の要請をしてみた。結果は無視された。無視上層部の方から圧力がかかっているらしい。おそらく瀬島の仕業だろう。あいつ、俺がまなかの
Which is also kind of sad because also his boyfriend, either way, in, in either timeline, you know, is dead. Um, either he he's, he gets like righteously angry about it, you know, and then get, be, gets her on our side, you know, as an ally. But uh, as her enemy, he still works for, he's still like doing it for Renju, but the thing is Renju's already dead. So he's just being manipulated by Saito. Anyway. Alright, what's up, Saito? I know who you I know who you are. Also you're me. At least that's my body. Sejima Saito. Again, kind of weird that we just know all this somehow. I mean, as the player, we know, and somehow Dante knows. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna explain, ever explain it. おそらくつい最近まで、お前はオキュラの中にいたんだろう。だがこの装置を使って人格交換し、不要になったオキュラの肉体を処分した。yeah, it was a uh, Rohan that was inside this body initially. Died of natural causes? Who do you mean by that? それより何で知ってるの? But how? How do I know that? Why do I know that? Why do I know about Saito, the prototype machine, changing personalities? Yeah, they always explain it as him remembering stuff, so maybe that's the case. Uh, it always seems like Coincidentally, it seems like Date remembers things from other timelines, but it could also just be, you know, him remembering his own past from, you know, his body, I guess. The words came out easily. I don't know why, but in a moment of harsh realization, I knew. Number 89's body is mine, and my body is Saito's. Hmm. If you know that, it's fast. I'm going to go back to the body soon. That's the body. How about now? <laughs> Please, Torso. Hey, you! Help me out, mannequin. I'm, I'm being silly, you know? Can't do anything. Oh, you're drunk. Mm, look at that crane. Maybe we could do something with that? Locker. Locker. Love books. Renju's body. I don't believe it. Injuranai. Little chemicals. You know, real quick, you ha I haven't really explored the, the database for these for these things, but like, uh, you know, these characters. I'll go, go through it real quick, just because I feel like we're nearing the end. I never got the chance to look at these things. I mean, it's not really that important, but you know, before we end the game, at the very least, I just want to quickly just scan through this. He, he likes unusual things and dislikes ordinary things. It doesn't matter now because he's dead, but... His hobbies are work. He enjoys songwriting. Wow. Hmm. Here's Shoko. I think we've seen this before. Skills lying and cheating. Good. Okay, I just want to go through it real quick. Not not take not not take too long. Skills include sock puppeting. Yep. That's why I don't like him. Uh, she likes this of witches. I see this before. I wonder if any any of these got updated. I don't know. He dislikes customers who don't finish their food. Hmm. We can backflip. And throwing knives? Hmm. 
their soul. The skills grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, and making them obey. He grew up poor, but now, you know, he wants money and power. Good. This boss, real name is Shizue. Grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, making them obey. <laughs> Similar skill. Similar skill. Are they related? Are they like cousins or something? Maybe like siblings? I don't know. She dislikes happy families, ex-boyfriends, MPD's director, <laughs> and uh, organizing. Hmm. This pewter. He likes multiples of 16, I guess. He likes to collect dojins and magical girls. Hmm. Okay, here's Mama. She likes loincloths. Wow. Oh, interesting. Sex. Gender neutral. Hmm, didn't expect that. What does that even mean? I don't know. I wonder how that's translating Japanese. Comes to the bar. Here's Moma. Like shooting, bit, beatboxing, and magic tricks. Wow. As it turns out, he didn't really have a big... Oh, well, sort of. Sometimes he helps us out, but for the most part, he didn't actually have a big part in the... Uh, the whole conspiracy of, you know... Saito and Rohan. Actually. Here's Rohan committed suicide, but actually it was Shoko inside Rohan's body that committed suicide. So yeah, well, I wonder if they actually added that, but I guess they didn't. They're just having the default profiles. Without, without the spoilers, I guess. Like guns, drugs, money, woman, and power. Amazing. There's Manaka, deceased. There is his real mother. She doesn't like killing. As it turns out, she got killed though. Hmm. Like studying international politics. Well, I guess it doesn't matter for her anymore. She's dead. Here's Saito. Oh, there you go. I was looking for like any kind of new profiles here. <laughs> hey, here's Saito. He's just, it's just, you know, the Date we know anyway. It's just, this is what he looks like. Uh, MPO representative. I don't know what that means. MPO representative? No. He likes fireworks. He doesn't like humans. His hobbies include murder. He likes stabbing, strangling, killing, and shooting. Wow. Amazing. There's number 89. The true protagonist, which is us, I guess. There you go. A lot of it is unknown, though. Random bodyguard. He does not like men, males, and testosterone. He likes boobs, though. Amazing. Random Yakuza A likes ass. Good. Yakuza B likes the uh, dominatrixes. Dominatrix. Dominatrixes. I can't say the word for some reason. Anyway, random nurse. Oh yes, I remember seeing this random nurse. So he dislikes jocks and queen bees. I don't know what that means. Can shave really fast. Wow. Receptionist. The the Atami ending. Anti-aging techniques. Murder maid. Ratata, bang bang, and slappy slap. The Exploring the vanity because it's make huge sums of money. Wow. Here's taxi driver. Always include multi-level marketing? I don't know about that. Hmm. Ah, here's Kagami. Hey, that's his real name. Araya Kagami is right there. His skills include pretending to be dead. He's actually really cute when he takes uh, his mask off and he's single. Who wrote this? Did he, did he write this? This is Kagami. This is just... The profile is just written by Kagami, I guess. I don't know that. Anyway, I guess that's it. I just want to look at those real quick. And Appendix doesn't, uh, appendix doesn't seem all that interesting. It's just like random uh, phrases, I guess. That are defined. Doesn't seem all that interesting. I just want to look at the profiles. The profiles seem more interesting than that. Here's the album. I guess the albums are... Yeah, I guess these are the pictures. Yeah, concept art. Yeah, it's really, that's what it is. These are basically the concept art that you can get from uh, acquiring the bonuses. From uh, completing the Somniums and also getting the bonus eyeballs and everything. I'll check it real quick. Uh, this is a random concept. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think it's super worth it to go through the entire game to get everything, 100%, but you know, slightly interesting, I guess. I just want to look that up. I don't know, it's, like, it's not very the, the best time to look at all that, but, you know, I just wanted to real quick before we continue the story because it's probably going to end soon. Um, I don't know, I don't know, actually. It feels like it's going to end soon, but I don't know exactly. 
Because it seems like it's the final showdown, right? It's, it's Date versus Saito. So this feels like this is it. Look at these chemical bottles. Look at this plastic bucket. No. I'm just looking around. Anything can help us to defeat Saito. Nope. Okay. Look at this gun. Saito. Wow. Where are Iris and Itomi? Oh, is it because oh, because he's in our body, it's kinda of like he's prevented from killing them because he'll feel bad, I guess. Because that's how the brain works. Shitokoroskotoda, Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was other, actually it was the other way around. Actually, he just wants to swap the body first. So he'll feel good when he kills her. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. That I was thinking, you know, for some reason, because his body is um, normally re releasing oxytocin, I guess. You know, when he's around the people he loves. You know, at least in the original body, that he would be prevented from killing them. Because at least there's some part of him that prevents him from doing that. But I guess not, never mind. He just wants to feel good when he kills them. Never, you know.君の。ああ。It's early Wednesday morning. Shoko was killed last Friday. That was day one, which makes today day six. For five days, what was Saito up to? It feels like it's been more than five days, but I guess, you know, we've been going around different timelines. It feels more like five, more than five days. It's only been five days, really. <laughs> I decided to ask him what he did every day until now. Mm, he kind of already did that, but I guess this is a different timeline, so he did different things, I guess. Yeah, let's just ask. Day one. Saito explained what he did on Friday. At 4 a.m., Saito began his plan against Shoko. He called Renju to this abandoned factory and switched bodies with him. Yeah, we saw this. Well, we saw this before. But that's why it's just text. After taking Renju's body, Sh Saito killed Shoko, then brought the body to Bloom Park. But as he explained it, uh, explained it to me, I somehow felt that I already knew. I didn't understand why. I felt like it was being etched into my brain. As if this was a video game or something. Why was Shoko's rental phone the horse? Ah, that was me who put it in. ショコの死体を馬の上に固定してたら服の中からあのスマホが落ちたんだ。服にそれを入れといたのは僕自身なんだけど、そんなことはすっかり忘れちゃってて。そのまま持って帰るのもなんかあれだし、かといってその辺に
覚えてるか土曜日の夕方水木へのシンクを終えて間もなくのことソムニウムナイエイリスのいやマナカの死体を目撃したお前はイリスのところへ電話をかけた Yeah this is a timeline where we also we also know about Monica and everything、hmm. Makes me wonder what, what was what was it about? Like I remember there's two the I mean there's a lot of things, but there's one distinct thing I remember is that Renju getting in a car crash, right? In this timeline he did get into a car crash, I think. Right? Yeah, he did get into a car crash. Uh well maybe he'll explain it. Because I was thinking like he was being targeted by a killer or something, but as it turns out he was the killer, so why did he get in a car crash? Was it just coincidence? <laughs> そこでお前はこう言っただったら今日はもうどこにも出かけるなあ、oh, okay yeah well that's part of the reason okay that that changed the timeline by telling her Iris not to go anywhere because we saw her body or at least Monica's body that looked like Iris in、uh, Mizuki's Somnium actually とじまりをしっかりしておとなしく家にいるんだいいなイリスがサイトの求めに応じなかったのはおそらくそのためだろう。That changed the timeline. もしもあの時お前が外出するなと言ってたら。If we did not warn her, he'll be the polar bear. You know, he'll be the polar bear for her. イリスは、Or、at least, well, at that point she was already. Well, yeah, at that point she was. I'm so confused again. Wait. No, no, yeah, at that point she was already dead, yeah. Because she would swap Renju. It's kind of weird, you know. The the deaths we think that they've been killed by, you know, the the murders they've been killed by, actually aren't when they actually killed. They're always killed by the murder that happened before, not during. You know, it's weird.、But、yeah, she doesn't. She didn't get killed by the polar bear, but rather she was already killed as Renju, at least in the other timeline when the Saito was successful. <laughs> Iris got a late,、uh, late night visitor, you know, when she had to cancel her stream to see someone. It was Renju, or at least Saito, Saito as Renju, but it was after the car accident. Yeah, all his plans were ruined in this timeline. Now he'll never get to use the polar bear costume, you know, he, he bought it, and now he can't even use it. What happened the next day? Doyobi no Jiko no Ato, Boku no Karadawa, Chuo Bui in Hanso Sereta. Ishkio Torimodostanoa, Nichiobi no Gozen Lejisuni. Shujutsu a Bujini Seiko Sta Mono, Okura no Naizo at Zutaboro no Jotai Data. Soretemo Boku niwa Ikana Kereba Naranai Tokoruna. Boku a Bioin on Ukedashi, Lentaka o Karite. すぐにイリスの家へと向かったその後のことは知ってる左岸家に着いたのは午前2時頃お前は玄関のインターホンを押して沖浦さん汗をダラダラと流しながら苦しそうな顔で言ったんです一緒に来てほしいってそしてお前はイリスを連れ出すことに成功だがここへと連れ込もうとしたところで私なんだか怖くなって沖浦さんの手を振りほどいて逃げ出したんです。Yeah, this time, because his plan was ruined and everything, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't,、uh, didn't get the chance to sedate Iris, I guess. But that's why she got away. よく知ってるね、そんなこと。だけどまあ確かにその通りだよ本当は車の中で眠らせるつもりだったんだけどあいにく薬を持ち合わせてなくて、ね mm, that's why. 用意しておいた睡眠薬はペシャンコになった沖浦の車にあったから僕は多分
焦ってたんだ計画も体の中もめちゃくちゃになってしまって鎮痛剤の影響も少なからずあったと思う頭の中が朦朧としていて正常な判断力を失ってたんだとにかくそんなわけで僕は逃亡したイリスを追いかけることもできずひとまず休もうと思ってここへ戻ってきたところでバタリと床に倒れ込み気がつくと日付が変わってた He didn't do much. Saito didn't do much in this timeline. 目覚めたのは月曜日の昼過ぎオフィーラの体は間もなく死を迎えようとしていたあー、OK That's the reason Because, you know, he was pushing Like, he didn't care about his body So he was just doing whatever You know, even though Normally, obviously, you don't want to die But he didn't care, right? He's, he's just thinking, well, I'm gonna swap the body anyway Doesn't matter So that's why Renju's body died of natural causes because he was gonna die anyway. And probably the, the eyeball, you know, ripping out the eyeball and the blood loss probably was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. He was already on low HP, I guess. And next day, for day four. <laughs> かけてきたのは天の間フータ。ジスピューター、I think。君たちがピュータと呼んでいる彼のことだ。I knew the story after that。Yeah, that's when ピューター kind of betrayed us。八十九号が来ることを聞いた僕は、そのことを沖浦さんに伝えたんです。すると沖浦さんは、何とかして八十九号を逃がすことはできないかって。So Peter came up with a plan to help number 89 escape. Rohan as number 89 got into the car with Saito as Renju and fled from the police. Okay. Why did you want him to escape? かつてイリスと親しい関係にあったその体に寄生すればうまいことイリスを誘い出せるんじゃないか How does Saito know? I guess Saito knows that because Oh, actually why would he know that? I don't know, but maybe Rohan told him Anyway それからもう一つ別の理由もあったこれから僕はお互いの体を交換しようと思ってる僕も君も本来の自分の姿を取り戻すんだ。Yeah, そうして、ファミリーになったところで、イリスと瞳の二人を殺す。この体になった、君の目の前でね。僕はそんな風に、計画を軌道修正することにしたのさ。ピュータに八十九号を逃がしてくれるよう頼んだのは、そういうわけ。僕はどうしてもこの体を手に入れたかったんだ。What happened after you escaped with number 89 in the car? 僕は彼、ローハンをこの廃工場へと連れてきた。ローハンは6年前のサイクロ事件のパートナー。だから本当は。もっといろんなことを話したかったんだけど残念ながら僕には時間がなくてね何度も言うようだけどオキュラの体はズタボロでもうほとんど使い物にならない状態だったんだ、mm, Sad Renju, you know they just show a model of Renju just being sad そこで僕はローハンを眠らせ速やかにシンクの準備に取り掛かる Just like that, you know, you would think Rohan would know what's up but I guess he just trusted him Even though it looked like Renju was just, or at least Renju's body was just decaying at that point, turning into a zombie. Just, you know, don't worry about it. We'll just you know, swap bodies real quick. I'll totally. Don't worry about it. And then, you know. And then he died. You know, Rohan, you're not very smart. Okay. 
だから最初に言ったじゃん彼は勝手に自然の摂理にのっとって死んだだけだあいや、natural causes。What about the shooting on Monday? 彼らは僕が雇った多国籍マフィアだよ。Is that what it was? So you could just hire mercenaries, I guess. Doesn't matter. I guess it's Renju. I guess Renju would have a lot of money, so. 月曜日に目覚めた後、闇の組織に連絡して手配してもらったんだ。要求された金額は法外だったけど、僕にはお給料の口座があったからね。そこからお金を拝借して、連中に支払ったのさ。Oh, he's not gonna miss out, I guess. Renju's technically already dead. 目的はもちろんイリスの拉致だったんだけど、この体を手に入れてからは、彼らの存在は不要に。とはいえ、もうお金は払った後だったし。わざわざ依頼を取り下げるのもなんかなと思ってそのままにしといたんだ。うん、OK、そういや、もう、レンジュー、OK、they already swap bodies for day four, so two days ago they already swap bodies. そしたら、ピュータのやつが勝手に。イリスを探してることや、マフィアを雇ったことは、ピュータに伝えてあったからね。マフィアのことは自由に使っていいとも言ってあったそれであいつ僕には何の相談もせずに先走っちゃって I mean that's what you said right? You know you can do anything you want and then you're surprised that he did anything he wanted OK Day 5僕がイリスを呼び出したのは今から24時間ほど前のことになる火曜日の午前1時40分頃僕はイリスに映像通信してこう言ったんだ。ビデオチェア。久しぶりだね。こんな時間にすまないが、ちょっと会えないかな。イリスは興奮し、我を忘れ、周りが見えなくなってるみたいだった。僕が待ち合わせ場所を伝えると、彼女は二つ返事で了承した。She got tricked so easily, and also probably because イリス didn't know that. You know, number 89 was even a prisoner, you know, at that point, so. I guess that's part of the reason. Oh, yes, all according to plan. Kekaku. All according to Kekaku. Hmm. Isn't this in another timeline? I believe this is the timeline when she died of the brain tumors, right? Or maybe not. I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. 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 Ironically, as it turns out, she only trusts your body, not you, <laughs> you know, the actual person. Again, I think, yeah, this, 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 exp uh, this explains the flashbacks. I was thinking initially, I was, you know, I had some crack theory about how, like, you know, Idris is not who we think she is, but she is just a normal girl.、Um, and then I thought, like, we were playing p a t a c a k e with Monica for some reason, but that's wrong too, I guess. As it turns out, we, we were just a number 89, you know? We were just her uncle this entire time. その後、僕はイリスに会い、車に乗せ、薬で眠らせてからここへ。彼女を拘束して監禁し、人見に一本の電話をかけたんだ。娘は預かった。警察には何も言うな。話せば、娘の命はない。要するに。イリスを餌にして君と瞳の二人を釣り上げたってわけまんまと連れてくれてありがとうただちょっと時間かかりすぎじゃない正直待ちくたびれちゃったよ OK Well about Monica's murder 18 years ago Did you do it? And it's like yeah 当時僕は12歳の子供だっただけどはっきりと覚えてるよ18年前のあの日
僕は父さんが電話で話してるのを聞いたんだこれからマナカに会いに行くそれを知って僕は父さんを尾行することに通りでタクシーを捕まえて父さんの車を追うよう指示したんだするとたどり着いたところは港の倉庫街で Purple man. <laughs> I mean, isn't that just Date? Or Date's. Well, not, well, not Date, but.、Uh, well, the Date we know in the body, I guess. But, you know, it's Saito, obviously. And the reason why we see Saito's、uh, face that one time in the Somnium and everything. I'm surprised they just played the same cutscene. You would think they replaced the purple man with, you know, just Saito. But I guess not. Why'd you do it? If I had to guess, probably because, well, you know, she was in my father's way, but also it was just an excuse to kill. Because I love killing, haha, <laughs> you know. I only feel alive when I'm killing people. But maybe you should play like Counter Strike or something, you know, or Call of Duty. You would get the same feeling. Anyway. ドーパミンやエンドルフィンの分泌を促していた It's all could have been avoided if you just played video games instead, you know? People always say video games cause violence. Actually, video games prevent violence, you see. You know? anyway. でも、次第にそれだけじゃ足りなくなって。次は人間を。Or maybe not. Maybe he's just, you know, he's just a psycho anyway. Does it matter? そう思っていた矢先。マナカの存在を知ったんだあの女は僕から父さんを奪ったそれだけじゃなく瀬島家全体から幸せを奪おうとだからターゲットに選んだんだ、うん、Did he actually believe that? Or something again? That woman took my dad from me He had daddy issues I don't know Seems like an excuse, though. No, 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 And you always see Sejima here. I guess looking or looking at the hair, you know? I was, I mean, he's old, so you, you just assume that he just has white hair because he's old. But I guess the hair color might be similar.、Well, maybe not. Looking at it like side by side, maybe not. Anyway. Hee <laughs> hee <laughs> Why is he laughing? もしかしたら6年前のサイクロ事件は起こらなかったかもしれない僕ローハン君の3人が人格を交換することもなかったかもそしたらナダミ翔子が殺されることもなかったはずで運命って不思議だよねたった一度の過ちが多くの人の人生を狂わせてしまうことになるんだから。Look on your face. Well, listen to the rest of his story, yes. いや、悪いけど、これ以上話すことは何もない。Is that the end of the exposition? You know, no more villain, bad guy exposition for you. 怒りに満ちた君の顔、もう十分拝ませてもらったし。というわけでそろそろ始めようかその体返してもらうよ Okay Is it Somnium time? Is it like proper Somnium time instead of like
No, there goes our left eye. Ow! Oh, that's Aiba, actually. Was Aiba always on our left eye? I guess it was, yeah, because we swapped last time, right? So that's why the left eye is Aiba. Oh. Okay. Like, you know, just rip it off real quick. Don't worry about it. Yes. It's kind of, actually, that was kind of actually disgusting. Oh my! He just ripped his eye out. Oh my God! That's just—he's very casual about it. It happened so quick, but oh my God. Anyway, well, can I do a somnium thing. I mean, Iba is probably gonna help us out later, but not yet, I guess. And uh, we're gonna be on our own now because Iba is not really connected to our body right now as well. So I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting that we're we're conscious. It's usually the subject of the somnium doesn't really remember. But I guess mm, I can't remember now. No, no, yeah, no, it does make sense. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, it was just like last time. Oh, I was wondering why we couldn't do the you know last time the annihilation ending. I was thinking like why couldn't we just delve into his mind to find the memories of his of like Hitomi's location instead of swapping our body? But I guess yeah, the sinker and the sinki I guess are different. So that's why if you're the sinki, if you're the subject of this of the of the sink machine, then you don't remember anything, right? That's the whole point. So like right now we are the sinker because technically if you want to swap our bodies, you have to stay inside more than six minutes, right? And everything. But, well, I don't know. It's probably because we can't just wake up normally, that's why. We're gonna swap no matter what because there's no one to stop us. There's no, like, pewter to stop the machine from uh, swapping our bodies right now. But that's why we're conscious right now because technically we're the sinker. Or whatever. We're not the subject, technically. But then, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Because I think the old machine, right? I think they said before, like, uh, often... Like, the sinker wakes up faster than the subject, the subject stays sedated. So if we stay in the Somnium for more than six minutes, we're gonna be transported to the subject's body, and then we're just gonna stay asleep, and then, you know, Saito's gonna wake up and is gonna kill us. Or whatever. Or at least, you know, kill Hitomi and Iris in front of us, and then kill us. Anyway. I don't know, this is just me, you know, putting, putting it all together. But anyway, we're in the Somnium. This is the sink room. Hey, do a little dance. Yay, hooray. Yeah. Yeah, there's no Aiba. And we're stuck in the dream. Somnium huh? scan. Kaishi. Mental lock. Hmm. It's backwards though. So it's kind of like, well, are we the subject then? I don't know. I can't tell. I, I, don't know, I, I don't know how it works anymore. But it could be that since the mental locks are backwards and everything, maybe we're the subject, right? We're not the ones finding stuff out. We're the ones... I don't know, anyway. Search Konami Date. Date Konami, Abyss Special Agent. Verify identity. Sinking in the chain. Like, he's the one, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Like, we're not the ones being, uh, somniumed. Or, no, we are the ones being somniumed. You know, usually we're the ones walking around doing the puzzles. Actually, it's Dot, no not Dot, the Saito is the one doing the puzzles right now. And we're just being, yeah, being synced and whatever. But if we're the subject though, okay, okay, then, okay, it does make sense. So we are the subject. Because I thought it was the other way around, no, we are the subject. You know why are we remembering? Why are we remembering this? Technically, if you're the subject, you don't, you don't remember anything in the Somnium. Hmm. Weird. Do we just watch this happen? What do we do? Can we walk around? Technically, there's no time limit. Because, you know, Saito wants to... 
he wants the time limit to go past. So I imagine if we let the time limit run fast, then it's game over, right? Probably what will happen. Hmm. I mean, just like normal, actually. As always, if we pass the time limit, it's always a game over. Yeah. It's, all, it's also all corrupted, they glitched out, which is funny. Makes sense, I guess. There's the exit. The map. Hmm. Well. Also, the first time we're actually controlling Date, you know, as this body anyway. Usually it's always Aiba. Obviously. Huh. Interesting. Okay, it's just zero seconds. Good. In fact, there's no time... You know, there's no time loss in general, really. Um... Check it? Oh, can't do anything. You don't lose time, though, so might as well... Oh, there's a knife. Investigate the knife. Okay, we just repeated the actions of what we saw in the surveillance camera, which again is probably the original Saito doing the same thing. Okay. Well, Rohan and the uh, original Date swapping their souls, I guess. That's what happened uh, six years ago, I think. Right? But then... Yeah, he wasn't... Okay, we, Ladate was in Rohan's body for a little bit, and then he swapped again, probably. That's what happened. That's why then Rohan swapped with... Uh, or at least Rohan's body swapped with Saito's body, I guess is what happened. I wonder why, though. Why did they even do that, you know? Maybe there was some kind of experiment. Indoor. Can I touch the exit, by the way? Open. Try opening it. Zero seconds. What a steal, you know? Discounted time. But no, it doesn't do anything anyway. Alright, let's just go, I guess. Move. Oh, okay. 60 seconds. No matter what. I feel like, you know, it's kind of unwinnable. No matter what, you're gonna waste seconds, because we don't really have control over any of this. We have 60 seconds. Hmm. Is time gonna move now? No, it's, it's just a fixed time, see? 300 seconds? So yeah. The more we go in, the more we just lose time, and, and eventually we swap our bodies, most likely. We have no choice. Yeah, there's uh, there's Saito, the original Saito. Yep, we have no choice. Checkpoint saved, even though I didn't do anything. The real player is Saito. I'm just the NPC. Oh, it's. A Okay, I guess we just follow his footsteps, which, I mean, doesn't really help us, but we can do it anyway. We can do anything else. I mean, we have, we have, you know, we have time. We don't really lose time by walking around, I guess. It's our own mind, obviously. So, we can do anything we want. We can, like, run around in circles all we want. But, you know, we have to interact, I guess. Gear. Can I fix it? Uh -oh. huh? I mean, yeah, that's exactly what we... That's what exactly happened.
Hmm. Well, that was Rohan, actually. Uh, mm, okay, so that was, or rather, that was number 89, or not number 89, that's Saito. I don't know, it's very confusing. But I guess that swap we saw earlier was not the original Date, it was, uh, it was Saito inside Date's body swapping the Rohan. That's what it was. I think that's what it was, anyway. Well, what do we do now? Do we just leave? Move! And there goes no 60 seconds. Another minute passes. We have no choice but to continue. Concealed, concealed, concealed. I'm back at the factory. This is the original prototype sick machine, I guess. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we can look around. You know, it's, it is nice that we just have infinite time, but obviously, you know, it's very linear. You know, it's not really the same puzzles we've always been doing. It's a special puzzle, you know, where it's kind of like you don't need to think about it. Oh, there's an eyeball though. Pick that up. Yeah, bonus, bonus concept art. Amazing. Alright. Hmm. I mean, pick up the picture. I don't know if it matters, actually. I, I, I guess it doesn't matter. No matter what we do, it always advances the, uh, the thing. Alright. Oh, no, okay. Maybe it does matter, you know? Because that wasn't right. So I guess we do something else? Uh, scoop up the blood. That doesn't work. It's just our hand. Hmm, our hand. Do something else? Stick your hand in it. It's just an eyeball. Alright, what? What did you say? <laughs> he he ha ha ha. He's just laughing. This is the real Saito. Having the time of his life. Good. Alright. I guess investigate the mirror. Hello, Saito. Hit it. Let's punch it. Good, again, good cross. Good cross punch, but didn't do anything. Touch it? Knock it down. Okay. Well, I'll usually when we investigate any kind of object in the Somniums, I was thinking you usually it doesn't do anything, but I guess... I guess maybe you should? Maybe we should put that eye in or something? I don't know. Oh, we're just giving him the eye. We have no choice. It's... It belongs to him. He's just unlocking all the mental locks. Because on his side, you know, he was investigating. 
the mirror, I guess, and he got a free eye. Amazing. So yeah. Okay, he's melting into the ground. Good. A lot of jelly. slowly sink is very slow and we have no choice but to sink again <laughs> slowly running away sink also by the way sink also like sink you know sink with a p you know sink with a s i guess it's probably happening is that uh we're our consciousness is being transferred to the other body right now and you can't do anything yep one last thing to do, and we can't stop it, so we're just gonna let it happen, I guess. No. No. Going back to original body probably is what's happening. It's gonna be bad though, because we're gonna be sedated and he's gonna be- oh. It's gonna be completely fine. Well, I can do anything he wants. And yeah, this is right before, uh, not right before, but you know, when he swapped his body with Rohan. Or was it? I mean, not. That's Falco. Wait. I'm confused. <laughs> but maybe that was after, actually. That was... Okay. So the way it worked was... Rohan and number 89 swapped, and then Rohan swapped with Saito's body, I guess. Was that Saito or... Us? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Because now Saito's in Rohan's body, and we're in, you know, Saito's body. For some reason, we did that, I guess? Because then they would be like, okay, so originally it was, we were Date, we swapped with Rohan, Rohan is stuck in our body, and then we go here to swap with Saito for some reason. We're back to original body, but we're a little bit sedated though. That's how the original sick machine worked. Yeah, we know Saito, we know this from the other timeline. Also, he, he has, you know, he has Aiba in his head again, so obviously, you know, Aiba's gonna shock him or something, most likely. Anyway. それぞれ速やかに投与される仕組みになってるんだ。ああ、だ
けど安心してさっきも言ったけど僕の目的は君の目の前でイリスと瞳の二人を殺すことにあるだから君のことはすぐには処分しない you know this just reminds me you know of the you know the cliche of how like you know we were the bad guy all along it's sort of true hey yeah it's sort of true not exactly like in a lot of movies you know the cliche like even though you were the protagonist the entire time or at least for most of the game or most of the movie or whatever and then as it turns out in the end you were the villain or whatever and it just reminds you of that because it's sort of you know sort of like that you know the body anyway was the villain this entire time so in a way the game already spoiled itself from the very beginning you know the main bad guy my body won't move my vision is getting hazy my consciousness was melting away clarity fading i don't know what happened i could only watch as it unfolded in front of me the scene that played before my eyes left me dumbfounded it was a fragment of my memory lost all those years ago a piece of my past buried deep in my subconscious <laughs> <laughs> 